Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to explain you the with clause in SQL. It's a powerful concept that has specific use cases. Okay. As a usual, you can see I have this table with the student ID, the name of the student, the section he belongs to and his or her max marks, right? Now, imagine a situation where I want to show the output with the name of the student and his ranking. Okay. But one, with one specific condition, right? In each section, I just want to show the person who has secured the highest mark in math or basically the person who has secured rank number one. Okay. We try the normal way, right? Let's say we do select star. And if you have seen the previous window function videos, I would have explained you how to do the rank function here. I'm just going to do that again here. As you see the syntax, I would say rank of and I would do the over class and here as you know I want to like get the rank at a section level so I will partition by section and I would order by uh, mass marks in descending order right so, so far this is straightforward I would give it an alias name ranking okay so when we do this we get the ranking okay in section A Aditya has got the first rank similarly in section B Akshay has the highest max mark so he has the first rank and in section C we have Anish who has got the first rank okay but my goal now is to just show the students and the ranking for those students who have secured ranking one so I just want to see Aditya then Akshay and Anish in the output right so some of you might be tempted to use the where so suppose I say where ranking equal to one I'll show you why it will not work you see there is an error right so what usually happens when an SQL statement executes is stuff like the where clause is executed first and window functions like rank are executed towards the end which is why when I say where ranking equal to one SQL is not able to recognize this column called ranking because it's you know the calculation of a window function right in such cases the with clause becomes really powerful so how we would use the with clause is for this query right this query we would put it into a sub block and give it an alias name so I would say with let's say the alias name for this sub block is a so I would say with a as open bracket close bracket okay so this sub block a right will be created with basically everything right star from the math mark table and also the column rank okay and after the bracket is closed immediately without leaving a space what you can do is you could say select star from the sub block we have created right which is a here let's see what happens when we run this as you see whatever is within the sub block right whatever is there here as a query now gets created as a new part which is in the sub block a and that is why now when we run this query, we already get the ranking as part of the table, as part of the query result, okay? Once you do that, once you select star from A, now you can choose to select what you want from that table. And now we can also give a where condition on the ranking because now it has become part of the table. So I would just say select name, comma ranking, and probably I wanna see the section as well, just these three columns. And now I could confidently say where ranking equal to one. Now you see in each section who are at the first rank and their section names come out, okay? Since we were not able to use the where clause inside that query because the window function gets executed after the where clause, we have to create a sub block using the with statement. So we say with, give it an alias name A as open bracket and close bracket when the query finishes. And just immediately after that, you can do select whatever columns you want from A and since ranking now becomes part of this A already, we can use the where condition here. I hope you understood this and enjoyed this video. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel. I will see you again in subsequent videos where I'm going to start with the Python series. Stay tuned. Till then, take care. Bye.